We found this Contax T2. Oh yes. I had the black, the black version. Same one either. That's a little shiny, but it looks good. It works. What's the price? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mexico City. I'm joined here by Alejandro again. Hi. Maybe you remember him. He gave me this camera here last year. The lovely Fuji 645, great camera. Um, because I was in the process of buying a new film camera, I ended up buying something completely different. But I'm still considering this because, you know, current film prices and stuff. But we talked more about this later on and also about, he brought another film camera. But first we will check out some film shops, film camera shops and, or camera shops and see what kind of film cameras they have, what the film prices are and then pick up some film and then finally I can shoot this again here. So I'm looking forward to that. All right guys, without further ado, let's hit the streets of Mexico City and see what we can find. So the first shop we entered, uh, they had a bunch of film cameras but not really exciting stuff. So we were asking about the film prices and they had T-Max 100 and 120 for 255 pesos. Uh, the film was expired and uh, if you want to know the US dollar prices, it's roughly divided by 20 so you get an idea. So in this case it's between 12 and 13 dollars for a roll of expired T-Max 100. Um, the fresh one was 290 which is 14 to 15 dollars. Really expensive I would say. The T-Max 400 was 300 pesos so 15 dollars. Also not cheap. But then the Porsche 400 was 365, which is 18 to 19 dollars. That is pretty steep. And the Porsche 160, he said it's 240, which seemed really nice. Okay. Okay, let's see with the film cameras. So the Porsche 160 wasn't too bad. Uh, was what was it? 240, 60? No, 40, 40, 40. So it's like 12 euros. It's actually, it's not bad. It's, uh, I think it's cheaper than Europe. Okay. Hmm. What do you think? Do uh, you like the prices? It's pretty good prices. <laughs> except uh, all the films, uh, except one, the Porto 160. Yeah. The rest is a little outrageous, but yeah. And they are cross free. Yes. Uh, and that, in that shop last year, I bought um, a couple rolls across 100, expired, like really old. and. Like, I think one roll was uh, around uh, two euros or something like that. So it was really cheap, even though it was expired, uh, it was still fine. So unfortunately, that deal is gone. All right, guys, here we are at the next shop. And they have a lot more film here. And you can So I was wondering what the, the Holger 400 film is. It's probably some rebranded stuff, but Whatever it is, so it's like 380. Ah, wow, <laughs> C200, 390, oh my God, that's outrageous, that's so completely sick. What else? Uh, with T-Max, Actor, look at the Actor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like 20 euros a roll. That's nuts. Sun, I see the Porsche 160 here? Yeah. Whoa, so it's way cheap, way more expensive here, so the other shop is way better. Okay. Down here we have some uh, point and shoot cameras. The problem is I have uh, no idea about uh, point and shoot cameras. The record could be good. Or these it looks very ugly. <laughs> That's the point on in yeah. point of shoots. But here we have the the good stuff, the Hasselblad. Me, me, six. Oh, mine, the one thousand S. I had this one, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no prices here, um, so we have to ask. But maybe we can ask one, two or three cameras just to see. Uh, yeah, I, let's let's see what they have first. Uh, the Roly. Oh, okay. That's the 75. Okay, not an expert in that, but they they just look nice. It's just, they're just beautiful, you know. I mean, I have the Mamiya um, C330, but it's huge. And this is like, almost feels like it's half the size. And it's pretty much the same. This here is one shop. And there's another shop over there. And what's the story? Uh, there's like a the family. It's the family shop, but they get in a fight. So they have like 
little squares uh, from each part of the family and the brother has another uh, shop like two two blocks away. <laughs> That's actually a really cool story. Yeah, it's funny. All right, so okay, it's, let's see which one is the better one. Uh, which shop has the better deals? So as you can see, there's plenty of SLRs and some rangefinders. So how much is it? Thirty, thirty thousand pesos. Thirty thousand, which is like, oh my god, it's like three thousand, one thousand five hundred dollars roughly. Yes, divided by twenty. So it's so this has a lot. It's a five hundred cm with an eighty mil two point eight. So actually, it doesn't sound too bad. No, so it's not bad. I don't know what the current market price is, but what do you guys think? Is it a good deal or not? But honestly, yeah, we don't know about the condition. Maybe the condition is not great, you know, then. But it looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, maybe let's check out another camera, something that's popular that. Saw the Roly. The 82.8. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, how much is it? 10,000? It's like $500. Yeah. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Damn. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ah. Oh, they're so beautiful. It's pretty smooth. Can you just check out the loop and look through? After reviewing the footage, I saw that there's a part missing in the front of the camera and also um, the focusing screen had a crack on the side. Not a big deal, but it was there. Let's see what the other shop has. Ah, see. The C330. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> but it's the 80mm. I have the 105 3.5, which is pretty rare. Oh, look. That's but it, that's the, the zoom one, right? Yeah. You, you got the two, right? Yeah. Not bad. How, how, how much is it? How much is it? Let's see how much the Fuji 605 is. I don't know. The Fuji 605 is 27. 20? 27. 1,000? Yeah. Pesos. Okay. What? It's more than 1,000 euros? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's too much. But that's a uh, 75, 3.5, I guess. Yeah. No, it's a 2.8. Oh, I'm 75, 2.8. Oh, there's so many versions of the Roly. <laughs> but I have to say, maybe I think I would prefer 75 even than yeah. 80. Just by. It. Okay. They also have film? Ah, oh, yeah. So they have film, yeah. Oh, there's some expired eye cross here, like. And they have some Ektacolor 160 Pro. Can you ask about the the Ektacolor? What is it? Ektar? Wow, that's that's that must be really old. for you. Okay. Expired when? 2010. <laughs> New, improved. Wow. The question is if it's still good. So I ended up buying two rolls of the Ektacolor Pro 160. Um, even though it was not really cheap, but it was still the cheapest option we could find that day. But I'm not going to show, shoot this uh, film in this episode because otherwise the video would get way too long. Because there was much more camera shopping involved uh, that I, than I expected. So you can look forward to this in the next episode. Here in this one it's all about buying film and looking for film cameras. In this shop 
I bought a film camera, not on that day, a couple days later, but you will see in a future episode. And that was really nice and I had no plans to buy it, but I had no choice. I just had to get it. So look forward to that. We found this Contax T2. Oh, yes. I had the black, the black version. That's a little shiny, but it looks good. It works. What's the price? That's the interesting 50. part. 50,000? Oh shit, okay, yeah. that's why. <laughs> 50,000? So it's basically uh, uh, two and a half thousand dollars. Good deal, let's get it. <laughs> but it's, it's a nice camera, but you know, I, I would be scared if it breaks, you know, and then it's a brick. No. A really expensive yes. So they have more film cameras here. They have a Nikon F3. Wide looks pretty wide. A wi wide looks, which looks pretty white and wild at the same time. So maybe we should get a price on the F3. Oh, uh, there's some more. Another point and shoot, Minota. Huh? F3, 11,000. Okay, 11,000 is like uh, 1,100. Wow, okay, that's pretty easy. So the F3 is uh, around uh, $500? Yeah, something like that. 500 US dollars, a little bit more, 550. It's not too bad, but it's not a good deal, I would say. Yeah. Man, it's really hard to find good deals, actually. Yeah. Holy crap. So what do you think? Would you, would you be interested in picking up the Rolly? Yeah, but you don't know if, how reliable is it if you buy a camera here? Can you be sure that they check they have, it? They have like six months guarantee. Ah, they give you guarantee? Okay. See, for you, because you live here, yeah. it's not a problem. Because if I take it back and it breaks, yeah. then a, a, a deal can... send it to yes. me. <laughs> a deal can turn into not a good deal, yeah. actually a really bad deal, you know? Yeah, um, yeah but 500 for a 2.8 Rolly. I think it was a Schneider lens. Yeah. So, um, it's not the most desirable, but these go for like four times the price, or five times or more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, it looks it look nice. I mean, I don't mind the crack, to be honest. Uh, it's not affecting the image, you know, no. what you get out of it. So, yeah. Is, there's probably more shops to check out. Let's do this, all right? Let's go. It almost felt like that every shop had at least one Rolli Flex for sale and this one had two. Uh, one had a 75 f3.2 lens and they were asking uh, 9,000 pesos which is $450. And the other one was a 75 f2.8 and the price was 12,000 pesos which is $600. So let me know if that's a good deal or not. Pretty sweet here. Cosina 35. It doesn't say how much it is, but it looks kind of interesting. And there's more. There's more stuff than I thought. Yeah. Great. So, found anything uh, interesting for you? Which one was that? Like the the Rolly, right? Yeah. Man, the price on the Rolly is just. It's very tempting. Yeah. I oh. love medium format and they, I have a hassle blood where yeah. it's like too long and the, when you try to and uh, the roll flex it's more. Which one do you have? What? What what has about? Uh 500 yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So the one we saw before, like the black or silver? Black. Okay. Black yeah the black ones looks yeah. I, I like it more, it looks better. So let's see what they have here. There's some uh, compacts here. Some more here. Also 28? 
30, 30 millimeter. Mil and 38. That's close. 500 pesos. Okay. Uh, 450. Sí, ¿qué pasó, Felipe? 250. Oh, it's four. 250 or 450? What's that? 450. I'm going to give you more data. 20 bucks? <laughs> Uh, yeah, 20 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> yeah. If it's trash, then... And it works? Está funcionando Está funcionando. Tres meses de garantía. Three months guarantee. Okay. Red eye reduction. Ooh. That's the best. <laughs> Let's keep, keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah. Let's... A ver si nos damos una vuelta ahorita. Sí. Gracias. All right, here we have SLRs, the plastic, fantastic SLRs. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, that's, that's, that rig looks really yeah, cool. No, no. <laughs> like, it's, you see the price, it's 480 for both, the, the complete rig? Yeah, but it's the worst camera on there. I know, I know, <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. So the convenient thing is that most of the shops here, they are in the uh, same location, so you don't have to walk a lot, so it's just around the corner. Ah, oh, there's one here. Let's see what they have here. The X700 Minolta is 4,500. So it's like 250 bucks. You decide if it's a good deal or not. So doesn't seem too bad. Without silk, it's here. Okay. Canon. Kodak. Okay. Kodak. <laughs> and this one. Whoa. That looks, that looks badass. Funny. It's a Vivitar 38. 35. Oh, 38. Yeah. It's like a cheapo T2. Yeah. Nice. It's probably less, a little bit cheaper, slightly. Ah, it's a flash. Okay. The only things I wouldn't be, sh I'm not so sure if it's a reliable camera, but I like, I like the little uh, the little hand grip. Yeah. But then also we have this here. Ah, it's Canon 40 mil. So when he gave us the price of the Canon ML, we got a little bit confused because he told us it's 2,500 pesos, which translates to roughly $125, but for some reason we thought it's more than $1,000, so we were really shocked. But actually it was uh, $125. Uh, I don't know if it's a good deal, but I think for a very basic plastic point and shoot camera, um, it's not the best deal, but it could be all right. So let me know what you think about this. All right, we went back to the fir first shop and the film there was not 245, it was 345, so not a good deal. That's why I will shoot this here, the Ecta Color 160, which isn't a uh, good deal either because it's like $12 for an expired roll that expired in 2010, so it's like 12 years and it's probably, I think it did not, it was stored there, it was just in uh, on the shelf, so not cold stored probably overexposed by like two stops or three stops let's see we have to use a flash so yeah. good thing is the camera has a flash so let's go move location and let's shoot what do you think yeah let's do this yeah. all right in next sunday's episode i'm finally going to shoot the fuji with the ectacolor pro 160 and i have to say here, right? the film turned out much nicer than so i expected so see you again next week for the next episode Thank you.